you going guys I know in here I'm on my PS4 um, and like some players may not have the PS5 yet I figured I'll do a PS4 system update too to my channel so I'm gonna go update now so this is the update version um, 10.50 I'm gonna view the details on this one now and then we'll see what uh, what the go is for this uh, update most likely, if I'm right, it could be a system improvement. Let's hope I'm kind of right. I um, guess I'm kind of right, in a way. Alright, so this update is to do with um, main features in the system software update. So it's saying that you can now access your auth authorized apps in settings. Authorized apps are third-party apps and services that... You've linked your account for PlayStation Network 2. When using an authorized app, you give permission to share your account data with that app. To view the message, uh, sorry, to view and manage your authorized apps, go to settings, then account management, and then authorized apps. And then scan the QR code with your mobile device as if you have a smartphone, you'll be able to do that. Um... Friends that are active on the PlayStation app will now show up as online on your friends list. Unicode 15.0 emoji can now be displayed. Don't ask me what that is, I wouldn't have a clue. You can see which of the players in your game session are uh, on other platforms for games that support this feature. So it seems like a pretty good uh, update for the sis uh, PlayStation 4 system. So I'm going to go ahead right now and... Um, just kind of pause this for a bit, and then I'll resume. Alright guys, so here I go now. I'm about to update the uh, PS4 console. Next. And update. So now it's downloading. It's not going to take too long, obviously, because it's megabytes, not gigabytes. So, I hope you guys can see that. It's getting there slowly. It's like 70 seconds left on the clock. Um, now I'm going to repause this again and resume very shortly. Alright guys, it's now preparing to install. So I'll keep you guys up to date once it's just about done. Alright guys, it's just about now to install. Alright, so it's now restarting. And then I'll resume this video once it's uh, booted back up again. Alright guys, it's now... Um, booted back up again system software update so just waiting now and it's installing update file so hopefully this won't take too long sorry being a little over a three minute video just trying to keep it short um, if you guys need to um, pause the video just to read it and understand it or google some of the stuff that you may not understand please do so feel free to share this video as well get it out there those of you who don't really have a PS4 anymore, I would, for those of you who still have a PS4, you can uh, be more than happy to share this video if you guys want to for the system update. Those of you who may not have a PS4 anymore, then I guess you're, whether or not that you're missing out on this update. It may not mean it much to you, but it, mean, it would mean a lot to other people. Other players have still got the console. Because I still got the console. I only keep the console because my VR. I am. Fortunately, I can't get a free um, attachment to the PS5 to play the VR. So I figured I won't worry about that. Um, now, with this, it's. Um, uh, as you guys can see, my online gamer tag. I'm not going to um, pretend I'm not risking it here. Privacy settings. Um, also, I've got to complete or confirm these parts of my profile to get most of uh, out of your experience so I'm gonna pause this video guys just for now alright so it says it actually says your gaming media if it had um, if it has to do with games move music and movies you'll find your privacy settings here as you can see guys it's got like a new uh, new tag towards activities so you can pick like anyone so I'm just gonna leave it down as like anyone but I'm going to go into it, I'm going to show you guys like exactly what it what it is. 
So it's basically, yeah, uh, allow com comments and sharing in addition to share these activities. Uh, like, depending on what you're doing, what you earn, what you're watching, you know, all that stuff. Any activities that you're doing on your console, basically. You can have anyone um, literally seeing what you're doing, or you can just have no one, friends only, or friends of friends. So friends that you have that are friends with other people. So I'm just going to keep it down as anyone. I really don't care. All right, I'm going to go to confirm. So that's done. Now I'm just going to go to... Um, you can you can always change this later. You don't have to go ahead and do it now. You can always change it later whenever you want to. So I'm going to go next. Uh, next. Because uh, as you guys can see, it's friends, friend requests, blah, blah, blah. It just asks you control who you can be uh, and see your friends. So control who you can... Who can be and see friends, followers, or other connections. So, you've got the control over just about everything here. So, basically, you're you're basically control in control of your own account to see who can see what you do and whatever. So, real name in search. Just about, you know, anything. So, like I said, guys, you can change this at any time you want. Any time you want. Providing you remember your... Uh, Signing uh, your password or if you don't need a password. So just providing that you remember what you want to do and how, how you want stuff. Um, if you're a member of the PlayStation Stars, it's free to join. Um, I've already joined. Uh, no cost up front, no nothing. Uh, control who can see your PlayStation Stars level and display case. This is limited to players with adult, uh, adult accounts on PlayStation Network in supported regions. So PlayStation Stars levels, like, uh, at the moment, no one display case, like, no one, but if I were to click on one, so I'll go like this, X, and it'll be like, all right, who can see my PlayStation Stars level? I'll go X, and it'll be the same thing. Anyone, friends, blah, 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 blah. So I'll just go, like, I'll just go anyone. I really don't care. You know, and I'll go confirm. And then I'll go the same thing here, display case. Oh, crap, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go here, too, and I'll just go, like, anyone. All right, I'm really not fast. And then I'll go next. And yeah, it will hopefully then take me back to the uh, home page of the console, which I'm um, definitely right. Anyway, guys, this is the um, the system update. It has now oh, crap has now been literally installed. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna delete all these notifications now and. Uh, go select all. It's a lot easier. So, yeah, this is the version 10.50 update for the PS4. Um, but yeah, um, oh, here's the PS Plus, guys. The PlayStation Plus games. Um, not like that's really relevant. Um, yeah, there's a lot of probably other things that are new to this, but I haven't exactly pinpointed like what, what I can actually really, I don't know do here but i'm gonna leave it at that guys because i'm not gonna make this too much of a long video but um if uh yeah if you guys find anything that's really worth looking into you can leave a comment in the section below of the uh, of this video and let me know let me know guys what you think of this update on the ps4 console enjoy take care live long prosper and peace out